Welcome. No nukers and subscribers today at Fukushima workers have finished removing highly radioactive spent nuclear fuel from the reactor for the crippled plant. There were more than 1,500 units of spent and unused fuel. The number four reactor had no nuclear fuel when the plant was hit by a massive quake and tsunami in 2011. But there were, all, there were more than 1,500 units of spent and unused fuel in the pool inside the building. Officials at plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company are putting priority on removing spent fuel because it's highly radioactive. The utility began removing more than 1,300 units of spent fuel in November last year. Workers completed the removal of the last units on Tuesday. TEPCO plans to finish removing the unused fuel from the building by the end of the year. The procedure will be more difficult at the number one, two and three reactor buildings due to high radiation levels. The three reactors suffered meltdowns. The company faces difficulties with melted fuel because its exact location and condition are unknown. Japan Nuclear Fuel Limited has announced another delay to the start of its $21 billion nuclear fuel reprocessing plan to March 2016 citing the need to meet new safety standards drawn up after the Fukushima disaster. After multiple postponements due to construction and equipment failures, the new schedule puts the Rakosho plant in northern Japan 19 years behind the original 1997 completion date. The facility is the hub of Japan's nuclear fuel reprocessing strategy and was designed to separate as much as 8 tons of plutonium a year for use as reactor fuel. It will also need to resubmit its application to the regulator for safety checks, which the plan must pass before it can begin separating plutonium from spent nuclear fuel, the company said. China has criticized Rakosho's construction, saying it raises concerns that plutonium could be diverted for use in atomic weapons. Japan has denied any such intentions. The lower house on Tuesday approved a bill for the construction of temporary storage facilities for radioactive waste on land near the crippled Fukushima No. 1 nuclear plant. The bill is expected to be enacted during the current extraordinary session of the Diet following debate in the upper house. The bill calls on the government to ensure the safety of the facilities and complete within 30 years the final disposal of radioactive waste, including contaminated soil after moving it outside Fukushima Prefecture. The government hopes to begin the transport of radioactive soil to the facilities in January. The Lower House Environment Committee adopted a supplementary resolution calling on the government to select candidate sites and create a roadmap for final disposal. The temporary storage facility is planned to be built on a site measuring 16 square kilometers straddling the Fukushima towns of Okima and Futaba. The government has been in talks with more than 2,000 landowners to acquire the necessary land. Today numerous sardines were found washed ashore in Pacific coastal area of Hokkaido. A fisherman found it around 6 a.m. of the day. The location was Mukawacho in Hokkaido. The dead sardines were approximately 15 to 20 centimeters long, which have grown up. They were found washed ashore for 4 kilometers along the coast. The local fishermen state they have been fishing there for 60 years but haven't seen such a thing. Hokkaido Fisheries Experiment Station comment it might be due to the storm one night before, but the exact cause is not identified. On the other hand, local citizen commented on Twitter that that kind of storm was nothing rare, can happen quite often meanwhile. Japan's Coast Guard is urging Chinese fishing boats operating near Japanese islands in the Pacific to leave the area before a typhoon hits. Coast Guard officials say more than 200 Chinese vessels are in waters near the Izu Islands and further south near the Ogasawara Islands. Officials believe the ships are poaching coral. Typhoon Nuri is expected to hit the area on Thursday. The officials say they will closely monitor the boats and prevent crews from landing on the Japanese islands. Japanese law prohibits crews of foreign ships from landing except in cases of illness, injury or risk of sinking. Some of Japan's strongest people gathered in Fukushima Prefecture on Sunday for a muscle competition. The event was organized as part of efforts to cheer up those affected by the March 2011 earthquake. About 30 men and women took part in the contest in Iwaki City. Ready? 
In one event, the participants ran 40 meters carrying 60 kilogram barbells in each hand. In another, teams of seven men and women competed to be the fastest to pull a truck a distance of 20 meters. I pulled a truck for the first time. It was so heavy, and I enjoyed it very much. I'm glad to see so many people from the disaster hit areas come out today. Thanks for watching Deep 13th Nuclear Waste Info. See you soon and stay tuned.